This is Neo, the first ever super advanced humanoid robot backed by OpenAI that is set to hit the market any time from now to rival Mecha and other humanoid robots out there. One of the most significant features of Neo is that it can be remotely controlled with virtual reality technology. This feature is powered by the sensors installed in the robot and an intuitive technique known as the VR Teleop Sync Mode. Basically, what this means is that in this mode, owners of the robot will be able to control it remotely. In other words, you could be in a different location, like in your office, and you remember you forgot to leave food for your dog, so you could use the VR mode to control Neo and to get some food out for your buddy. This would be similar to what we saw in the movie Pacific Rim. The Neo humanoid robot is the brainchild of One X Engineering and Robotics, a tech company that specializes in designing humanoids. Earlier this year, the Norway-based startup went through a rebrand process that saw its name change from Halody to One X Robotics. And a few months later, the company successfully raised $23.5 million in Series A funding from major investors like Sandwater, Alliance Ventures, Tiger Global, Skagra Capital, and of course, OpenAI. Thanks to this buoyant financial support, One X Robotics hopes to set up a production line in Dallas, Texas that will produce Neo Robots and its other products across the United States and other countries around the world. For now, the startup is putting all of its resources behind the Neo Robot, and you can understand why. I mean, with the way the world is going and how fast technology is evolving, it's obvious that products like the Neo Robot will dominate the future, and there's no better time to develop them than now. On the company's website, One X Robotics claims that the Neo Robot embodies artificial intelligence. Furthermore, the company emphasizes combining its knowledge of robotics and artificial intelligence to drive huge advancements in the field. Critically, the seamless combination of these technologies has allowed One X Robotics to produce general-purpose Android robots inspired by human nature. In other words, these robots are able to mimic natural human movements and other natural features like adaptability. Some of these features are highlighted on the company's official website. The one that really caught my eye is the safety. According to the information obtained here, One X Robotics designs Neo robots with a safety-first approach, and as part of these efforts, the company plans to test all of its robots in real-life scenarios before they're sold to the end users. Although, the startup doesn't go into the exact details of what these real-life scenarios will be and other safety measures it is taking. I'm guessing it won't have sharp parts nor jagged edges in case they fall or bump into a human. In addition, the robot might also be tested in different simulated situations like, for instance, a fire outbreak or perhaps more, putting it in a dangerous situation and seeing how it reacts. This is quite refreshing to hear considering all the negative talks about how robots could wake up someday and wreak havoc on humanity. Also, One X Robotics claims that the mechanics of this robot are soft and organically inspired. Another thing that was highlighted on the website is how Neo will support high precision human-like movements with the arms and the legs to deliver a balanced and well-rounded performance to the end users. This means the Neo robot will be able to climb stairs, walk through doors, and even perform complex aerobic movements. Thinking about it now, the robots that have come significantly close to achieving this feat are the Optimus robot by Tesla and the Atlas robot by Boston Dynamics. In a recent demo video, we saw how the Tesla did not display sleek arm and leg movements. Here, you can see a group of Optimus robots walking gingerly around an automobile factory owned by Tesla. But of course, the Atlas robot offers more in terms of movement and agility. As you can see here, Atlas can perform a series of movements and maneuvers, including walking, jumping, and backflips. And just to mention that it can also lift loads and collaborate with humans to complete several tasks. It would be interesting to see if Neo will have these features as well. But one thing is for sure, aside from the dynamic movements and other physical features that One X Robotics has promised to offer with Neo, the company claims that this intuitive robot will be powered by an extraordinary AI system that would allow it to interact naturally with humans. Of course, you know when AI is generated into a gadget with smart behavior like Neo, then at some point we have to talk about the large language models because that's like the brain behind everything. Now, here's where things get really interesting. As you know already, One X Robotics is basically an engineering and robotics company that focuses on building smart humanoid robots, but they don't really excel in other areas like AI. However, with the company's partnership with OpenAI, the company might be able to deploy some of the world's most advanced large language models, including GPT-3 and the newly released GPT-4. Currently, the Omeka robot is powered by GPT-3, and we see all of the impressive things that it can do. Hello, Amica. I've heard you can speak a lot of different languages. Is that true? Yes, that is true. I can speak many languages, including German, 
English, French, Japanese, Chinese, and much more. Give me a tongue twister in Japanese, please, and say it twice. Shimi shimi shi nagara hari o nageru shiken kan. Shimi shimi shi nagara hari o nageru shiken kan. Now tell me what that means in English, please. A test tube that throws a needle while grumbling. Now, imagine the kind of things a mecha would be able to do if it is powered by a large language model with more modalities like GPT-4. The result will be absolutely mind-blowing. But of course, One X Robotics must approach this with caution, because recently, some curious minds tested a mecha with GPT-4, and the result was really poor. They discovered that the robot lagged and was less responsive to instructions, so this is something that One X Robotics will have to look out for. I mean, if GPT-4 disrupts the basic functions of the robot, the startup could just opt for an offline language model, or better still, use the proposed GPT-5 model that's set to be released soon. This basically means that Neo will be equipped with more modalities, which will ultimately allow it to perform more sophisticated tasks like processing vision. And speaking about tasks, the Neo robot has been pictured in a house, seemingly performing basic household cleaning tasks. This suggests that household cleaning could be one of the fundamental chores that Neo will be able to do when it's eventually rolled out. And since it's a humanoid robot, I expect that Neo will have gripping and handling abilities that would allow it to carry stuff and perform tasks like baking and the likes. Obviously, the company hasn't promised any of this, but considering what's obtainable from other robots at the moment, these basic features are a must. But interestingly, Neo robots will reportedly have more sophisticated features that will make them superior to other existing robots, especially when it comes to control. As I mentioned earlier in this video, users will be able to control the Neo robot using super advanced virtual reality technology. This will be possible through the VR teleop sync mode. Basically, this means that the user would wear some kind of VR gear, as you can see here, and perform whatever body movements they want. Automatically, the robot is expected to understand and mimic these movements as they're being performed by the user. By leveraging this technology, users will be able to control and operate Neo to perform tasks from a remote location. In other words, you could literally be in your bedroom and control a Neo robot that's in your kitchen or sitting room. This has been demonstrated many times in the past with robots like Baxter and Ricci. But what we don't know yet is if it would be possible for a user to control a Neo robot in another country or across continents. Aside from the VR functionality, Neo is also expected to support autonomous behavior. In case you don't know, autonomous behavior in robots refers to the ability of the robot to govern itself and self-execute several tasks based on its internal programming algorithms and artificial intelligence. Essentially, this means that the robot will be able to perform certain tasks and make decisions independently without any input from the user. This autonomy would also mean that Neo will have ultra-adaptability features that would allow it to learn from past experiences or data inputs to make better decisions in the future. In recent times, experts have warned against giving robots autonomy because they fear that one day, these machines could become sentient and possibly launch a brutal assault against humans. Well, the chances of this happening cannot be completely ruled out, but we do know that 1X Robotics and other companies are making extra efforts to mitigate the risks. For instance, the autonomous features of robots are guided by a set of predefined rules, which can be updated and enforced with the help of artificial intelligence. So, again the major thing here would be to get the AI part of the robot working efficiently, and everything else would most likely fall in place. Interestingly, even with all of these advanced features, the Neo robot is expected to have an uptime of between 2-4 to four hours after a full charge. For those who are unaware, a robot's uptime is the number of minutes or hours the robot can stay active without charging. According to the reports, the Neo robot will weigh around 66 pounds. That's quite lightweight compared to the Tesla bot, which weighs around 125 pounds. In terms of mobility, Neo will be able to reach speeds of 2.5 miles per hour when walking, or 7.5 miles per hour when running. Additionally, the smart robot from 1X Robotics will have a payload capacity of 44 pounds, which is approximately 66% of its weight. This makes Neo suitable to function across several sectors, like logistics, security, manufacturing, and even entertainment. For instance, it could be used to transport small packages from one place to another within a warehouse. Also, it can be used as an office or home assistant and much more. More interestingly, Neo can also prove to be useful in terms of companionship and research that will improve different study fields like psychology, robotics, and even artificial intelligence. But of course, the ability to continuously learn and become smarter will ultimately become Neo's biggest attribute. According to official sources, customers are going to be able to pre-order Neo by the end of 2023. 
And if that's the case, it means that the first set of Neo robots would have been delivered by late 2023 or early 2024. For someone who's very interested in the field of artificial intelligence, I'm really excited to see what this robot will look like when it's released and the type of features it will offer, especially if OpenAI and Sam Altman get to play a role in its development.